In what may be the hottest year in history, scientists have recorded radical changes to the permafrost in Antarctica. The Pandora virus, a so-called giant virus with the largest genome size ever recorded. The crabs also display increased aggression, even towards larger predators. A striking new weather anomaly has claimed many coastlines around the world. NASA is examining these clouds to figure out... We've detected large amounts of an organic composite. So far, the sample doesn't match any of the DNA records we've compared it with. We all saw it! Those creatures coming out of the sea on that oil rig! The President has declared a national emergency... It's obvious that what we're dealing with here is a biological weapon. As of today, we are at war. It's taking their minds! I saw them walk right into the sea! Thousands of people! Thousands! The mist is gone, but the city is dead. The roads are broken. You must join one of the havens. Do not attempt to survive on your own. Sitrep is yellow alert. Other refugees are coming from the coast. 400 yesterday. The mist is coming fast. We need weapons, vehicles, and food. If there is anyone that can respond. Eight, three, seven, we listened to the number stations every day. I took turns with Jacob, waiting for our signal. And finally, it came. A scarab got it too. It's AI directing it to our rendezvous point. We had no news from Symes for many months. Did he send the activation codes? I was desperate to know what happened to him. The mutants were on the march again. Something was happening. If the mist was back, then it meant that the Pandora virus was mutating again, twisting the human form into new horrors. We needed to regroup, rebuild. But first, we had to get to that scarab. This is the rendezvous point. The Scarab is waiting for us right over there. Finger on the trigger. Better days, but it will have to do. Jump inside. Thank you. 
Taking position. After several hours traveling, the howling noises stopped, and then so did the scarab. I did a quick survey around our position while Jacob talked to the AI. There was an abandoned government reclamation station nearby. These places are usually good for scavenging supplies and equipment, but they often attracted desperate gangs. The AI gave us the reason for our stop. An emergency rescue signal from another Phoenix operative. We had a location too. Right in the middle of that station, the Scarab made it clear that we should attempt a rescue before continuing with our journey. Despite no sign of the mutants, our comrade was clearly under threat. The Scarab's missile launcher would prove very useful. We've got visual on the building. The Phoenix operative should be close by. There are hostiles up ahead, so stay vigilant. Tango spotted. I'm going in. Rolling out. Reloading. I'll be right there.
My turn. Ready to rumble. Stop me! I'm on the move. My turn. Receiving.
My turn. I'm on the move. Stop me! Omar, is it? Glad you found some gear, because you're gonna need it. Now you're part of my squad. After the battle, the Scarab resumed its course towards our base, struggling through the rough terrain. Strange growths were contorting the road, smashing against its armor. It wasn't long before it took one too many hits. The engine gave a loud crack and the AI went dark. We had lost a valuable member of the team. We knew we were close to our destination, but we didn't know what we would find there. If we were to advance on foot, we had to exercise extreme caution. Approaching the base, we heard gunshots. Jacob and Omar took positions by my side. What was going on inside? A bandit ambush or something much worse? Following Phoenix protocol, we readied our weapons. It is time to reclaim our home. Tread lightly. There are hostiles up ahead. Let's get rid of them and clean up this mess. difference. No visual, but I can hear commotion coming from the hangar. We Get must investigate. Oh. 
I'm going in. We've got a poison worm situation. Somebody get a med kit. Here I am. Let's do this. Ready, willing, and able! What's our plan? Moving in quick. Rolling out. Steady. Take overwatch positions and wait for them to come. I'm on the move. Receiving loud and clear. I'm going in. Ready.
Moving now. My turn. Operative on the move. Eyes peeled. Hostile destroyed. I can make a difference. It's all about the skills! Receiving. I can make a difference. Let's do this! <laughs> Tango spotted! Is that really the best they can do? <laughs> Come on, get 
The door is shut, so we'll have to use those ladders. Go, go, go! Let's go! Ready, willing, and able! I'm prepared. I'm on the move. Heading out. Rolling out. I'm going in. Rolling out. Somebody bashed that thing off his face. Ready. Ready. I'll be right there. Ready to engage. Oh, what a kill! Let's go! I'm going in. I'm on the move. What's our plan? Repositioning, prioritizing speed. Moving now. That turn. Receiving loud and clear. Looking for an angle. I'm repositioning. Let's go. Thank <laughs> you. 
right there. I'm on the move. Here I am. Let's do this. Come get some. Kills confirmed. Phoenix, welcome home. The reclamation of Phoenix Point was just the first step on our path ahead. A desperate fight against an overwhelming foe, and only a handful of friends to help. But if this base could withstand the attack, then so could we, and so could Symes. If our leader was somewhere out there, we had to re-establish contact, no matter the cost. The Phoenix Project was founded on October 24th, 1945. The Second War to end all wars was over, but there were those who understood that we could no longer afford to think in terms of nations and empires. For a time, the Phoenix Project successfully navigated the political conflicts of its era. That was our golden age. Phoenix Project operatives scoured the world for clues. We had bases in two dozen countries, even the heavens were not off limits. But out there, on the far side of the moon, began our downfall. The failure of the Phoenix 2 mission exposed us to our enemies in the UN. Stripped of resources and scattered to the winds, we were reduced to a secret, a memory. When the Pandora virus woke up, we should have been the first line of defense. When huge clouds of mist appeared over the sea, when people started vanishing, we should have figured out what was going on. And when those people started coming back, changed, hostile, alien, we should have been ready to fight, but we failed. The ecosystem started to change, imperceptibly at first, then faster and faster. Three factions arose. New Jericho, trying to restore order and purity. Sinedrin, hoping to build a world without hierarchies. And the Disciples of Anu, a new, syncretic religion dedicated to adaptation and biological change. At war with the world, and at odds with each other, these factions cannot find a way forward. Now the mist is returning, and armies are rising from the sea. Without the Phoenix Project, humanity will fall. It's time to rise from the ashes. Thank you. 